When the COVID-19 shutdown hit last March, spring sports were just getting started. The lockdown forced turf grass managers to switch around their maintenance programs. Typically, spring sports start when grass is still dormant. But now, managers are hoping to have fall sports next spring, which means changing how the fields are seeded. We're looking at overseeding with perennial ryegrass to build a green base, and we're going to have to, and that's something we haven't done a lot. Um, and if we do do it, it's done at this level, now we're going to have to take it to this level. Um, so where we were putting out 10 pounds per thousand square feet of perennial rye, we're probably looking at 15 to 20 pounds of perennial rye on our high school fields, which is a very high number. You know, you look at colleges and professional, that's a typical number, but for us, that's tremendous. You know, so that's an expense that we have to make a decision for now with the uncertainty, depending on how things shake out. At the same time, turf managers are adapting to COVID-19 protocols that restrict how staff work, even outdoors. So that's been a real challenge to maintain uh, turf grass with uh, less people at times, or a lot of times if, if, if people were undergoing COVID protocols, um, having to leave, and then at the same time, um, you know, managing in a clean, safe environment, right? Just like any industry, our, our people are the foundation and the, and the only thing that really matter at the end of the day, uh, as well as the service we're providing. So we do have to, to make sure we're working in a clean, safe environment. Turf grass management is considered part of the Virginia's green industry. Along with nursery products, it represents close to 10% of Virginia's agricultural sector. In 2007, turf management accounted for 11% of the green industry, with an economic value of more than $129 million. With the growth of suburbs, office parks, golf courses, and sports fields over the past decade, turf management has become an integral part of keeping those green areas healthy. Today, uh, I think as sports turf managers and also just people who are stewards of anything of public money, the, the goal is to make sure every dollar you spend is worked to its max potential. Because in the end of the day, for me, it's about education and I've got to put maximum effort into education and then if I can, use that same money to teach a kid how to do what we do out here. We're mowing at super low heights of cut, uh, less than an eighth of an inch at times on the putting greens. And so, you know, the golfers desire firm, uh, smooth, fast putting surfaces uh, for golf. And so what we had to do at times was was raise that height of cut a little bit. Uh, the higher height of cut we could go, we could actually uh, maybe have a little bit um, more focus on turf grass health and not so much on playing quality, but because of short staff, maybe we did things like you saw today where we mowed with a triplex mower instead of hand mowing. Uh, maybe we, we used a machine to rake bunkers uh, as opposed to hand raking. Turf grass professionals say demand for quality outdoor recreation experiences has never been higher. And this year, golf has been leading the way. I know my nephews are young amateur, you know, aspiring golfers, and the opportunity to go out and drive a golf ball was like a treat for them because they've been stuck in the house. So I think, you know, I think COVID has really made people appreciate the outdoors and embrace outdoor activities whenever they can. The nice thing about golf during COVID is in the state of Virginia, it was basically uh, able to continue throughout the whole time. So we never saw a lapse in golf. In fact, we saw a real increase in golf. Uh, with, with more free time, less, less options outside of golf, uh, golf has never been busier uh, in the state of Virginia, which is a good thing. Whether it's mowing, watering, taking soil samples, fertilizing and seeding, managing sports turf requires constant attention and hard work. That's part of the job, and turf professionals embrace it. Golf course maintenance is a 24-7 uh, job, and it includes early mornings, late nights, and weekends. So, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful industry. You get to be outside. You get to work with your hands. You know, really, your, your work is reflected right in front of you every day. Um, but, but COVID did present some unique challenges. And just like, just like the weather, just like a lot of challenges that golf course superintendents face every day in their, in their teams, uh, I think golf course superintendents in the state of Virginia tackled them head on and, and really came out better on the other side. I think it helped the industry in the sense that people truly appreciated having a green space that they never, they took for granted before. I think when people were locked in their homes, the first instinct was the opportunity to get out with my family. It's a great opportunity. And we saw that. I mean, I, I saw folks out 
playing frisbee and soccer and things on our campus that you typically didn't see, although somewhat challenging because as sports field managers, sports and field managers inherently are very possessive of their spaces. Um, and the reason is because they take pride in making them look nice. And then when they have outside traffic that you don't anticipate, I think it really, it, it forces you to step back as a sports field manager and say, this isn't my space, it's everybody's space. The next time you swing a golf club at a course or watch a football game, it's worth remembering that science and skill are needed to keep those green spaces going. In Hanover County, Virginia, I'm Ricky Gibson.